Hey family, C Eats here. So I've got Taco Bell's Buffalo Chicken Nacho Fries, I think it's called. Um, yeah, and it has, you know, the nacho fries, the buffalo chicken, shredded chicken, and I added some jalapenos. I took the pico off, you know me. And uh, that's what I got. Oh, and then the strawberry freeze. I drank some of it on the way. <laughs> I got some hot sauce. They also gave me some mild. And I've got some Diablo <laughs> that I just happen to have here. So before I eat, I'm going to pray over the food. Father God, bless this food that I'm about to receive. I ask that it be nourishment for my, for my body. I ask these things in your name. Amen, amen, amen. So it's Sunday afternoon. This is my lunch. So I've been wanting to try this. And it's... I know it's going to be kind of small. It's really small. So it's really hot because when I got it home, I was like, this is kind of cold. So I took it and put it in the oven and so you got some cheese on the nacho fries. Take a bite. Oh, I forgot to give you some jalapenos. Take a bite. Um, yeah. It's like a buffalo cheese, I guess it's called. Sprinkled on it. This is the first time I've ever tried it. It's not bad. This cheese kind of tastes like the, I don't know if it's because I had jalapeno. I should have tried the first bite without the jalapeno. Let me try this. So I've seen a couple of I only see one <laughs> video review on this. And they have the, I think it's a burrito too, the, the nacho fries burrito. I didn't watch the video to see them review that. But anyway, I wanted to see them, what they had to say about this. And it's not bad. If you are a a fan of the nacho fries, have some, got some um, sour cream on there. Take some. If you are a fan of the nacho fries, try it. And you like the shredded chicken. Give it a try. Cause it is my preference if i get um if i get nachos from taco bell tacos i want the shredded chicken if possible so it's not bad this kind of reminds me of wendy's jalapeno bacon fries um they have a a sauce the first time i had it and to, ooh, check out one of my older videos on my playlist. Right. Um, and I talk about my first experience. I didn't record the first time I had. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But I wound up having it three times. Two times I recorded. One time, you know, of course I didn't. So this is this is what this kind of... Reminds me of, um, has a bit of a bite to it. So if you're not really a spice fan, you don't like spicy foods, you might not want this. I've, I've, I've heard somebody tell me that they don't like nacho fries too. So, uh, but they still watch my video on the natural fries. But I think there's a video I had natural fries and something else. Or was it just natural fries? Anyway. So, very good message today at church. Link will be in the description, as I always mention. And bear with me, guys. You know, 
I was looking at one of the ones that I just posted. And I was like, it has, check out my my church's YouTube link and it has a finger point to the link and no, there's no link. So normally, after I post my videos, I go back and I, um, I try to do it, you know, before I actually post it. But sometimes it just doesn't, time doesn't permit or where I'm at doesn't permit me to do it. And yeah, I should be able to copy the link on my phone and paste it. Sometimes it works. A lot of times it doesn't. And so I have to wait until I get to my desktop or my laptop and go ahead and... Um, Oh, <laughs> go ahead and um, post the link. So this past week was indeed a a week, and um, I'm going to share it with you guys later on. I'm trying to. Wait until some things transpire, and um, yeah. So, so far, 2020 <laughs> has been very, very challenging to me. Um, and wake, it had, you know, it's filled with uh, wake up calls and lessons and. uncomfortability is that a word <laughs> and um a whole bunch of stuff uh going through the gamut of emotions and um it's it's it's, it's it's a lot. <laughs> so lately, at church, pastors have been having special prayer for those who, you know, he has altar call for, the, you know, those who want to join the church. They want to rededicate their lives or... Um, you know, whatever, and... And after that, he has like a special special prayer. You know, if you're being challenged in one area or another, and I've been going up there every, <laughs> going up to the altar for prayer every week. Excuse me. So pray for your, pray for your girls to eat. Like my mom said, this too shall pass. And so it will, but it's like when you're going through it, can you guys see? So I'm almost done. Um, I have to see how much this cost. Um, everything, this, okay, they charged me, I want to say 30 cents for the jalapeno. Um, Came to six dollars and some change. That's quite a bit. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not sharing any with you guys. So they put a lot of, as you can see, a lot of sour cream on there. I mean, I I eat sour cream. Uh, it's it's cool, but I don't like it that much. <laughs> Looks kind of yucky, doesn't it? But it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> doesn't taste the way it looks. Oh. Mm. We are at ready in the month of March. And so the way I'm posting these videos, guys, <laughs> it's probably by the time I post this one, it might be the end of March. Might be beginning of April. <laughs> so, 
be patient with me. I have a lot of videos stacked up. And like I said, I've had some challenges uploading them. So I've just been letting it stack up. And upload it when I can. I keep trying. <laughs> this past week, I uploaded a video I did in January. So, contemplating kind of if I should upload every other day or every day. I'm not sure if I can do it every day, if I can do every day. There are some people who are working and they're uploading every day. Not sure if I can do that. So this is the last bite. I got sour cream on here, a piece of uh, shredded chicken and or a couple of pieces of shredded chicken sour cream, and jalapeno. So pretty good. Here you go. It's gone. So Taco Bell's. Taco Bell's. Buffalo chicken, nacho fries. Not bad. I have to look at the price again. So, and then for me to have this, this couldn't have cost that much. Let me see if I can find the receipt. Hold on. Okay. Hang it, guys. <clears throat> I'm very, very curious how much everything costs. Excuse me. So, $2.99, the buffalo chicken fries. They charged me 35 cents for the jalapenos. My goodness. And the, <laughs> the, sk the Skittles freeze was $2.49. Did I say strawberry freeze? I guess it's Skittles, Skittles strawberry. Anyway. That's why I came up to six something. So. Excuse me. Not bad. And you know what? I didn't even use. <laughs> I didn't even use the sauces. So I hold on to them. Who was it that said that they, you know, they asked, do you hold on to your condiments? And was it Flavor Eats? Or was it V. Lenore? Anyway, <laughs> check those two out. They have really good videos. Um, Yes, I hold on to my condiments. So I, I want to pose that question to you guys. Do you hold on to your condiments? You get ketchup. You get tartar sauce, you get soy sauce, you get duck sauce, whatever kind of sauce or whatever kind of condiment, uh, butter, you get all kinds of things. Do you hold on to it? I do. I had a, at work, I had a big, one of the large Ziploc bags filled with condiments and I was cleaning out the refrigerator at work and it's a, you know, small one, but still, um, it was just a lot and I kept, Push, I kept taking that bag and moving it around. And finally, one of the students, I asked them, do you, can you use these condiments? And they were like, yeah. And it had jelly in it, everything. And I should have known right after I gave it away, maybe about a week or so later, someone asked about, where's the condiments? Oops. <laughs> I gave it to one of the students. At least it went without, it had hot sauce in it, everything. Uh, uh, what are the sauces from um, Chick-fil-A? It had, yeah, the barbecue sauce. It had the, the I can't think of the popular sauce there. It had sweet sauce. It, it had everything in there. You could just buy that butter, I think. Um, probably had sugar and salt and pepper packets. It had everything in there. So, thank you guys for watching. And I... Uh, so I'm sorry. For those of you who are new, you're new to the channel. It's the first time being here. I want to welcome you as well as those who continue to watch. I really appreciate you guys. 
and uh, I want to welcome you back. Uh, content creators, remember the information that you disseminate may not be for everybody, but it's definitely for somebody. Have an awesome evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time it is in your area. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and tap that notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I post a video. Bye-bye.